welcome to an exciting evening of Deep South Championship Wrestling. We have a very special surprise for you coming up here in your first match, a match that has yet to be advertised. We have from World Class Championship Wrestling, the World Light Heavyweight Champion, flamboyant Eric Embry. Now he's the only world champion to defend his title throughout different divisions and he's here tonight to defend his title against a young man from Jonesboro, Georgia, the number one junior heavyweight in the Deep South area, ranked number one in the nation for the national junior heavyweight title. That's Dwayne Bruce, and that match will be coming up first. Nick, if I may, I'd like to take just a moment here to introduce two very prominent young ladies that write for wrestling magazines, Miss Diane Kirkland, who writes for Wrestling Power, Celebrity Wrestling, and Double Action Magazines under Editor-in-Chief Mike O'Hara, and also Miss Marty Brown, who writes for Wrestling News out of Mankato, Illinois. Well, I'm sure it's a pleasure uh, for us to have them here. They've got some great matches coming up they're going to see here tonight uh, with Deep South Championship Wrestling, and uh, as I said, it's a pleasure to have them here with us. Uh, Diane, if I may, could I ask if you've seen Eric Embry before? Yes, sir, I sure have, and I'm looking forward to this match. It's going to be quite impressive. Marty, have you seen him? I've never seen him in person, Rock, but I've seen him a lot of times on TV, and I think this is going to be an extraordinary match because I'm familiar with Dwayne's work. Well, this is a match that we're all waiting to see now, and we consider it to hey, be hey. a real feather in the cap of Deep South Professional Wrestling. We're underway. World light heavyweight champion Eric Embry, and I've got some interesting facts on Eric Embry. I uh, spoke to him a little bit before the match. He is uh, the only man to have ever to have ever held a world light heavyweight title twice. He did lose it one time to a young man named Sean Simpson in Reunion Arena last Thanksgiving, and he was able to recapture that title on Christmas night at the same place at Reunion Arena. This is our first look at Eric Embry, but he certainly has a very good reputation, Nick. And any man that can hold a world-class title, not once but twice, has to be able to back up what his publicity says. As we said, he's from world-class uh, championship wrestling, and he is the only world champion to defend his title throughout other leagues and other divisions. Right now, he's here in uh, Deep South Championship Wrestling. Now, the weight limit for his title is 232 and one-half pounds, Rock. Which is Wayne Bruce is really surprising Eric Embry at this point. I don't think he expected this level of competition anywhere. Well, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Bruce is a young man. He's about 10 miles from his hometown. The biggest match of his career against a world heavyweight champion just 10 miles down the road from his home. You know that his adrenaline gland is really pumping right now. They lock up collar and elbow. The world champion Eric Embry goes to the eyes, rakes the eyes of Dwayne Bruce. Nails him with a right hand to the top of the head. Backs Bruce into the ropes. Fires him off. Beautiful move by Dwayne Bruce. Sunset flip. One, two. He gets a two count on the world champion, Dwayne Bruce. Right back up. Looks like he's going for a backslide, and he does. One, two. Oh, very close. And the young man from Jonesboro, Georgia, with another sunset flip. One. Right now, he is all over world champion Eric Embry. And Eric Embry out on the floor. He's going to regroup as a young man from Jonesboro, Georgia, really starting to take it to the world life heavyweight champion Eric Embry I can't help but be impressed by Dwayne Bruce's improvement every time I see him Nick he shows more wrestling knowledge and better condition if that's even possible every time he steps into a ring right before the matches you introduced us to a couple of uh, fine young ladies that are with us here tonight for this edition of Deep South Championship Wrestling some from some very major uh, wrestling magazines that's correct. Uh, Marty, if I may ask you, what do you think of this young man, Dwayne Bruce, in against a world's champion for the first time in his life? Well, I think he's giving us a very good idea of what his strengths are. Um, as far as size and conditioning, they seem to be fairly equal, but I think experience is going to be the deciding factor here. Well, that's a very good opinion, although upsets can happen. And Dwayne Bruce is a young man that's proven himself to be extremely tough against every opponent. Good reversal by Dwayne Bruce into a backdrop. Beautiful move. Up with a flying arm drag, and he hooks the arm on Eric Embry. 
and he cinches up tight, and Dwayne Bruce is really starting to electrify this crowd here tonight, Rock. Dwayne, as usual, is in peak condition and showing peak form, Nick. I've never seen him step into a ring without having uh, the advantage in condition, at least, and certainly uh, with a great deal more wrestling knowledge than a lot of people give him credit for. You know, Rock, I got, uh, I'm very proud of young Dwayne Bruce. This is the first graduate of the American Academy of Professional Wrestling to get a world title shot. And he's doing it right here in his own backyard, and he hangs under the arm as the world champion tries to toss him off, but Dwayne Bruce cinches up tight and takes Eric Embry right back down to the mat. Dwayne Bruce right now really starting to show the world champion what he's made of. Turns Eric Embry seems to be sort of stunned at this point, Nick. I don't think he really thought he had an opponent that could put him down to the wire like this. Dwayne Bruce cinched in tight on that arm. He's into the hammerlock on Eric Embry. Embry to his knees. Dwayne now goes back to the bar on the arm. And Embry, a lot of pressure being put on the shoulder and elbow area right now. Dwayne Bruce, as he positions his body weight over the top of Embry, as you can see, Embry slapping at that hand, trying to get a little circulation back into the hand. Dwayne Bruce clamped in hard. Once again, Embry tosses. This time he does toss him off and levels Dwayne Bruce with a clothesline. Now we're going to get a look at the world champion and see what he's got. Rock and I know his reputation. I have seen him wrestle on numerous occasions. He is a consummate wrestler. Well... You have the advantage on me at that point, Nick, but I will have to say he exhibits a very solid knowledge of wrestling, all the holes and a lot of the moves. Up and to that. here he comes off of that second rope right onto the arm of Dwayne Bruce. Dove in with a headbutt across the collarbone and the shoulder of Dwayne Bruce. Dwayne Bruce rolls over, trying to get to the ropes, and he's really starting to favor that shoulder now. The world champion cinches in, and he goes for a suplex and completes it. Drives Dwayne Bruce down hard on the mat. World light heavyweight champion Eric Embry defending his title here in the Deep South area. A snapmare. Eric Embry brings Dwayne Bruce over to the mat and sets in with a rear chin lock. And now he's going to try and uh, wear the young man out a little bit, Rock. Well, if he wears Dwayne Bruce out easily, it'll be the first time in history as far as the history of Dwayne Bruce is concerned. I've never seen anyone tire this young man out completely. Well, he's a competitor. He works out hard. He trains hard. He's probably one of the most well-conditioned athletes in the sport today. And he's earned this shot at the world champion. Dwayne Bruce with a couple of elbows to the midsection. Off the ropes, fine shoulder tackle. Embry goes down, and Embry's starting to back up now. And you can see the fire in the eye of Dwayne Bruce, and he starts to take it to the world champion. Sets him with a front face lock, and the champion, very, very smart, may have set him up for that one, Rock. I think so, Nick. I think he laid the trap that Dwayne Bruce fell right into, and he just sort of gave him the old slingshot right through the second rope and onto the floor. And Dwayne Bruce is favoring his back now. But knowing Dwayne Bruce, he's coming back into that ring. Well, he's back up on the apron now. Embry takes over, a rake to the eyes, hits the ropes on the far side, comes off and just unleashes with a big right hand, takes Dwayne Bruce off the apron and down onto the floor. And the world champion now, very confident with his ability as well he should be. He may be a little too confident, Nick, because you can't walk away and turn your back to a competitor like Dwayne Bruce. He'll be all over you like a fishnet. Bruce in underneath the ropes, back into the ring, and Embry pours it on. Immediately grabs him in a front face lock and opens up that face area and catches him with a right hand, and it looked to me like a closed fist, Rock. Well, the champion's not taking any chances now. He knows how tough Dwayne Bruce is. Dwayne Bruce now starting to get a second win. He turns things around on the world's champion, brings him over. There's a pinfall, gets a one count out of it. I think he's going to have to wear the champion down a little bit more before he goes for those pinfalls, Rock. Well, he tried for a small package, Nick, but Eric Embry was, saw it coming, and he broke the hole before Dwayne Bruce could set it. World's champion Eric Embry once again takes over on Dwayne Bruce, sets in with that rear chin lock. You know, I'm very impressed so far with Dwayne Bruce in this match. He's shown himself very, very well against the world's champion. Both Eric men Embry. are impressing me, Nick, and I'd like to ask Diane Kirkland. Diane, have you seen better competition anywhere? 
No, sir, I sure have it. This, it's amazing to me that you could put on a match like this. This is great. Dwayne Bruce now fights his way to his feet. It looks like he's trying to get up into that top wrist lock, Rock. And so far, he's been pretty successful. He's up. And Embry turns things around. It looked like he grabbed a handful of hair, fires the young man off, and Dwayne Bruce catches him with a boot. Oh, he goes for the elbow, and Embry moves out of the way. The world's champion right now, just one step ahead of Dwayne Bruce, scoops him up, gives him a big slam, and the world's champion once again has control of the tempo of this match. Right now, you have to say that's why he is world's champion, Nick because he's managed to stay ahead of all opponents. Off the second rope, Dwayne Bruce moves out of the way and the world champion comes crashing down hard on the mat. And now young Dwayne Bruce with a second win. He's to his feet, he backs the champion into the ropes. He fires him off and Dwayne Bruce goes to make the move. Beautiful drop kick. The champion goes down and the champion now is starting to backpedal. I think he wants to try and slow Dwayne Bruce down, Rock. He would like to, but that's really a task, Nick. Nobody's been able to do it yet. Look at this beautiful monkey flip by Dwayne Bruce, and he's really turning the tide on the champion. Drops an elbow on Eric Embry. There's the cover. One, two. Oh, a two count. Dwayne Bruce back to his feet. The world's champion on his knees. Gains control. Goes to fire him off. Good reversal. Another reversal. Dwayne Bruce up on the ropes. Beautiful crossbody. The world's champion rolls through. Looks at the, oh no, there's a three count. There's a three count. Well, Nick, there's no question of that. Marty, I guess in Mankato, Minnesota, you've seen a match or two at that. Yes, I have, but uh, this is one of the most exciting ones I've seen in a long time, Rock. Thank you, Marty. Very unfortunate break for Dwayne Bruce. First world title shot of his young career, and he did an excellent job because the world champion ended up hooking his tights to score that victory, Rock. Enjoy delicious fried foods without fried food calories. Sound too good to be true? Introducing the incredible Swiss Dry Cooker. A simple, powerful design gives you crisp, deep-fried goodness with just a drop of oil. It seems like an ordinary pan, but look, the secret of the dry cooker is this patented hot air tower. Superheated air rushes up, circulates around the food, cooking quickly, evenly. Dry cooking actually bastes food, not in fattening grease, but in its own rich flavors and aromas. Yes, more flavor than you've ever tasted before with less oil, fewer calories, less cholesterol. Watch. Deep fried chicken cooks because it's surrounded by boiling oil. This batch actually soaked up this much oil. Put chicken in the dry cooker and it's surrounded only by naturally flavored superheated air. With only a drop of oil, turn out crispy, perfect frozen french fries and fish sticks. Bake a cake in a fry pan? Never. But watch. The cooker is so dry you can actually bake on the stovetop. Superheated convection currents bake evenly top and bottom. Dry cook hot dogs, and they taste like they've been barbecued over a hickory fire. But that's still just the beginning. Dry cook vegetables without boiling or steaming. Look at this amazing comparison. This broccoli was boiled. This done in the dry cooker is bursting with color and vitamins. Baked potatoes taste like they've been roasted over a campfire. You can dry roast nuts or prepare a mouth-watering roast. The incredible Swiss dry cooker with exclusive hot air tower gives you all the flavor of crisp frying, but almost none of the fattening oil and calories. Order now on this special TV offer for just $19.95. Money back if not delighted. Use your credit card for rush delivery. Here's how to order. For COD and credit card orders, call toll-free 1-800-626-2900. Save the COD charges by sending $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Cooker. Box 2, Lovejoy. Order now. Call 1-800-626-2900. That's 1-800-626-2900. Write down these important numbers. This is a public service announcement to all fundraising and non-profit-making organizations. 
Deep South Championship Wrestling has several plans to help you raise the funds that you need and bring exciting Deep South Championship Wrestling to your area. Call area code 404-477-2334 or 284-8599. Call weekdays 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Remember, 477-2334 or 284-8599. Would you like to see something really incredible? Then look at this. These are real diamond rings. Perhaps more diamond rings than most people see in their entire lives. Each beautiful butterfly sculpture is crowned with a genuine quarter point diamond, specially set and faceted to enhance its luster and magnify its visual impact. Over nine million dollars worth of diamonds like these have already been sold. And the ring itself is layered entirely in genuine 18 karat gold. Yet all of these diamond rings, all one million of them, will be sold for the astonishing price of only $10 each during this special nationwide publicity campaign. But that's not all. Here's a special bonus. If you order your ring right now, we'll also give you this matching diamond butterfly pendant for only $5. That's exactly half the price. Visa and MasterCard orders call toll-free 1-800-228-4667. Rock, another great match going to ring now. We see young Mark White as he's going to come up against a very crafty veteran that we normally don't see in singles competition, but we're going to see him in singles competition. Coming up here in just a few moments, we see him making his way to the ringside. The man's name, the mass nightmare, number two. Let's go right now to the ring introduction. This match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first from Rome, Georgia, weighing in at 224 pounds, here's Mark White. And his opponent, one half of the Deep South Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, weighing in at 234 pounds. From parts unknown, here is the Masked Nightmare, number two. Masked Nightmare, number two. Very proud of that belt. Referee signals for the bill. And there it is. The Masked Nightmare, number two. One of the most scientific, uh, crafty wrestlers in Deep South Wrestling at this time. He and his partner, Masked Nightmare, number one, form possibly one of the the top tag team combinations in the world and he misses on that elbow mark white moves out of the way the mass nightmare with a miscalculation there good series of moves he went for the elbow and uh, young mark white moved right out of the way Nick, you know it's unusual to see the mass nightmare wrestling in singles competition although they do do that on occasion they certainly don't have to prove to anyone that they're most excellent wrestler as evidenced by that wonderful fireman's carry that he Beautiful. just executed there and comes up with that long arm bar and puts maximum stress on the elbow of Mark White. Beautiful escape from the hammerlock by the mass nightmare. Ends up with a fireman's carry and trapping the arm of Mark White. Good reversal by White. Another spin on the arm. And now White's starting to put the pressure on the mass nightmare number two. Rock the Nightmares have been Deep South Tag Team Champions five times but the competition now is really starting to heat up. They've got two very, very tough, very aggressive teams. We've just seen a little while ago Richard uh, Sartain and Rock and Roll Rebel Greg Evans, two youngsters that are just on fire right now. They're really starting to rack up a good win streak. And also, what we've seen last week here on Deep South Championship Wrestling, the Botswana Beast and the Psycho together as a combination could be devastating. Well, I was getting ready to say that the fans of Deep South Professional Wrestling may feel that possibly the reason that there's not tag team competition in this match is because the Masked Nightmares have run out of competition. But as you just named those combinations that appear in Deep South regularly, obviously that's not true. There are too many tag team combinations that want that belt and want to take on the mask nightmares. The competition is fierce. They've been receiving challenges from all over the country. And you can see right now, mask nightmare number two, very, very aggressive. And he's moved in on the arm of Mark White. And he's trying to destroy that arm right now, Rock. Good move, good leg trip by Mark White. Goes to work on the ankle of the nightmare. He's gonna have to trap that other leg or he's not gonna keep the nightmare down for very long. As you can see what I mean, the nightmare